Fun game, really. I mean, we know all the players and what they can do. It's just a matter of, are they going to bring it early? See Donovan with a nice jump shot. Seamless, looks like he never left. Shoots it up and over. 5-4 Utah early. They're playing at the HP Fieldhouse. There's three gyms in Orlando. Rudy with a nice air. So the three by Joe. Nice look off, lay it at home. The chemistry, it's moving the basketball. I might be open, but I've got one more pass because this guy's more open than I am. Is Jordan Clarkson doing what he does best, getting in that. Two, that he wanted this team just to go out and play. Yes. And Thurl, I think what that means is, you know, sure, focus on defense, but I think it's that comp It's drilled down by Cameron Johnson. So a quick four off the bench. Donovan, the only jazz man with double digits and back to back no or Damian Lillard that takes the bulk of the threes that have to take bulk of the threes they spread the wealth Joe Joe will drive Joe. With the left hand of an importance to the Jazz team as getting opportunities to take the shots the shots are gonna fall and that's what these scrimmage games are for starting big here they've got Bradley along with Gobert here's Joe in a roll to the rim and put it down Joe Ingles with his second left hand Jazz pick up the turnover. Nice pass. Donovan to Conley. Mike had four points. Drives inside. Lays it home with the left hand. Six boards in 16 minutes for Rudy. Bo, let's see if the Jazz are really focused on getting Rudy a little bit more involved. But you have to take what you crash the boards. But the spacing gets really tight with both of those on the court. They're both kind of rim. Those new lineups to see whether, again, like Matt said, uh, if they'll work. Rudy, runner, paint, scores it. Or at least maybe find a little more involvement with the offense. Well, he has to do it within rhythm of what the Jazz do. Mike Conley hit a nice little jump shot there. Shot he's comfortable with. And I think he'll, he'll he usually makes good decisions. Doesn't get a lot of turnovers, but this is what he's good at right here. At getting down and making plays. Oh, beautiful pass. Rudy finds Bradley the two bigs. Plexiglass. But it's just another part of the, the way the NBA has made this happen in Orlando. Clarkson, corner three. You know, Emmanuel's a guy that kind of lost uh, the ability to get on the floor. It's good to see him. Boutier, by the way, has played in just seven of the last 20 games. Tough shot, counted. I tell you, his, mid, his mid-range game is tough. Having to be in one place for a long time, but the NBA has just done a great job of surrounding these guys as Jordan. That's a tough one to catch. He's got it. Moutier drives inside and finishes for two. He is so good at that. Me Aoni wearing 81 on his jersey. There's George, deep three. Got it. Before Brooklyn and then a couple of days off before these eight uh, seeding games. Yeah, so first I think we're all happy that basketball is just on the... Yeah, Donovan was so solid. And, and make no mistake about it, Coach Quinn Snyder is really looking at this lineup at the little things. Ooh, impressive. You know why that was a little nasty? It was nasty. Again, they're ready to jump center against Myers Leonard and scrimmage number two underway. Guys like Mike Conley, who just missed that mid-range shot, are really going to have to compensate. Love to see that early bowler. Jazz are not taking care of the basketball early. A couple of steals have turned into heat. Three attempts in the first scrimmage already. Two touches, two buckets right on top of the rim. Goes inside. His defense picks up with the block shot, and that helps Utah with a run. Here's Conley on a drive inside. Left-hand layup off the glass and counted. Let me say this too, bowler. When, when you feed your big guy, oh, he'll do everything for you. You know, not that he wouldn't anyway, but... He's got two great dunks, two great passes. And look at the activity. He gets an offensive rebound. That's right. The Jazz shoot extremely well from outside. That ball bumped away by Joe Ingles. Here's Donovan again. Right-hand dribble. Off to Royce O'Neal. Slices, dices, and hangs up the other. You know, 49 three-point attempts in four games. Gobert, that ball just took a hard bounce off the glass from Moutier. And... Gobert, 10 points here in the first quarter. Established that position, but even before that, Emmanuel Moutier was doing well. And in Jazz, this league again. That's right. Jazz need to find a solution for it. You know these guys can shoot, uh, and you have to decide, especially if you're Tony Bradley, if you're going to try to protect the paint more, or you're going to defend and Tony Bradley 
wasn't able to come over and help. Yeah, this is a big lineup for, for Miami. Jazz have guards on the floor, forwards, and including Cry that uh, we can continue to honor him and, and his achievements. None scored the layup, and Gobert inside around Crowder. Donovan stop and go drive floater. Rudy put it down. That space that Rudy had up there to get that ball in. Fifth dunk of this game for yeah. Rudy. It's a great save by Donovan Clarkson inside easy two. Conley in the paint. There's that knuckleball floater for two more. So a quick four points from Mike. Jazz trying to pick up the tempo. Lob it. Put it down. Oh, Donovan. Right. In his 13th point. Nine shots. Tyler Hero. Conley. Flick of the wrist. And right now the guard line coming alive for yes. Utah. He'll take the shot again. Tough, work. tough shot. <laughs> Conley's got... He's lit a, someone lit a fire on it. Quinn Snyder wins the challenge. Utah with the ball and up by a count of 63-56. Joe gave up the three. Royce will take the corner three. Bang, got it. Guard play, T. Big difference. Conley's been hot. Feeling it. Oh, and the roll. Straight. That jam comes off the, oh, that's beautiful save. Clarkson three, corner, bang. No, you didn't have to drop a lot of weight. Tony reshaped, he did lose weight, but then had to reshape it. Moutier, a wraparound bucket baseline. Came over from Memphis, played 13 games with Miami before the, the shutdown. We see Rajon Tucker on the floor. He's a powerful young... Emmanuel on a run inside, hanging on a pivot, gives it out. George, three ball up, and got it. One bounce and puts it in. Jordan Clarkson just has that touch, huh? Yeah, we saw a lot of that before the the shutdown. Jordan Clark. But that, it's not just scoring. He wants to get this team. He wants to get involved and get his team. It's going to be fun. For me, what I should say is that's the best you can do that's in right. these times is Morgan goes inside able to see right now also the whole fans on screens that's going to be really cool to see 17 foot video boards wrapping around the arena so that fans can digitally interact and cheer for their favorite great defense great recovery right foreman on a drive inside miami's got to hurry Solomon Hill, three, no, it's over. And the Jazz hold on, 101-99. Despite Olenek, who had a brilliant game to you at 27. Dick, two nothing Brooklyn. O'Neal on the drive. Allen changed the shot, but it sets up a look for three for Mike. I said headband Harris to Burton, he gave me a side eye. <laughs> looked at me like, because there's no chance I'm losing that. <laughs> Royce O'Neal with the right hand. Looked like a three. Looked like there was a little bit of space. I wear, there, glass. so I no. wear glasses for a reason. It's not for fashion. <laughs> Joe Ingles knocks down the... Kobe Bryant was a mentor of his. We know how important women's basketball and the WNBA was to Kobe. So this is just a tremendous act. Donovan Mitchell will fire from three. Pure. A one to dribble pull up. And that's something we saw a whole lot more uh, in terms of shot profile from the next team. Donovan Mitchell to Rudy Gobert. They had three such alley-oops in their last game. Again. Conley on the move will fire for three. And they are sizzling. Flexion there. Conley gets it back. Two to shoot. And he knocks it down. That's a fitting back-to-back game scoring in double figures. Wow. And he had 11 such games during his rookie campaign. As Conley kisses it off the goalie's face, they're on the miss. And Moutier pushing the tempo. Clarkson, splash. Shooter shoot. Type of veteran presence. We see him constantly in guys' ears, talking to guys, helping to coach him up. Uh, that's invaluable for this group of players. The offense starting to pick up for the next though. Getting buckets on the last couple of possessions before that block, and there's a tough foul there. TLC on Rudy Gobert, who gets the layup to go. 
44-35, Utah on top. Coaching five and a half to go in this first half, and Donovan Mitchell, another one from deep. The amount of quality times that you get, the conversations, the differences in depth of those conversations. Ooh, Rudy Gobert. What a good job of keeping him on his toes and using a variety of different attacks. Knocked down from the outside. Came in and didn't take any time to get his feet wet in last scrimmage, but he's really continued to carry that over. Too easy. Mitchell to Rudy Gobert. She owes to do that earlier along the baseline, engaging and drawing out Gobert, and a nice slip by Jared Allen to be wide open. Mike Conley. He's just 6 1. Jump out of the gym. Conley had it going in the first half. It continues into the second half. The lineup that Utah is playing with, Jacquan matching it. Nice feed to Rudy. Getting an up in defensive intensity from the Nets. Getting deflections, playing more physical. It also feels a little bit better when you're cutting into a lead. And there's Jordan Clarkson stopping that run right there. Seeing them get once the shooting games begin. One for two at the line for Allen. And Moutier knocks down the mid-range jump. Clarkson. Oh, nifty move. And then six more three-pointers made in this game for Utah. Ten-point advantage at the moment. Royce O'Neal on the drive. No, call that a feed to Ed Davis.